Motherfucking Benny! God damn it! You son of a bitch! Go, no, coach! Oh, my socks soaked it all up. Don't worry. Don't worry, my socks saved it. All right, Phil, last home race. Yeah. Yeah. So a couple more rounds to go. Is it starting to hit you? This is coming down to the end here or what? Yeah, no, uh, obviously Unadilla because I've been coming here since I was seven on the other side of the valley. So for me, it's it's pretty surreal. Um, kind of sad, kind of happy. I'm not going to miss the, the roost here at Dilla, you know, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow. Obviously today puts a little damper on some things, but um, yeah, pretty surreal. End is near. Happy and sad. Unadilla Valley Sports Center has a lot to celebrate this weekend as it welcomes over 100 athletes for a annual thrilling race. Unadilla Motocross is hosting the Elf Fuels and Lubricants Unadilla Pro National this Saturday. The competition serves as round nine of the 2024 Pro Motocross Championship. In addition to the race, the Sports Center is also celebrating its 55th anniversary. Yeah, the Back of your shirt's kind of dirty. Yeah, thanks start practice for that. The freaking war zone. <laughs> was it was it your rider? Uh, and Steen. Oh. And then Mark, and then Cody got me. Not one person's to blame. It's because you guys were trying to catch that frog. It was the frog's fault. Well, they get to celebrate Phil on the podium to start the whole event with the grand marshal position. He gets to give the checkered flag. And, well, they're just going to pick on him the whole time, as far as I know. It should be fun. What, what else comes with being a Grand Marshal? He gets a free ride and a side-by-side -side around the track. So all the fans could see him. Free soft serve ice cream, I think. There's a free cat. And something else with Grand Marshal, yeah. Amateur, we raced in the back on uh, what they called U2. First year it opened, and then a couple years after that, and then we went pro, and then we've been up here ever since then. You know. So you you should get something. I mean, he gets to be Grand Marshal. Yeah. You've been I, here. I get heart, heartache. <laughs> Just joking. You know. No, is it's all good. Is it, like, surreal or weird, this being the last time that he's going to race here? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, it's, it's like... Uh, this is always, uh, you know, our local big event, this and Broom, and Broom's no more. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know. It's, it's, it don't feel real, but, you know, all, all the people around, you know, and saying thanks and everything, it's kind of it's kind of different. So there's a lot of people here that know you, too? Oh, that... you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a couple guys come on up and take pictures, and then some... Some young young riders, well, they're not so young now, but from when we were on 60s and 80s, you know what I mean? And, uh, I don't even recognize them now, they're six foot tall. Your very own Filthy Phil Nicoletti. Phil, wave that flag and present it to our official finish line flagger, Mr. Jamie Nimey. <laughs>
just a really Problem good, solved. Really good first moto back. Your start was fantastic. Yeah. Your opening laps were fantastic. And you're going to build into it. All right, can you do better in the second moto? <laughs> okay, then the do better, better in the second moto. <laughs> I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. Oh, that a boy. I'm proud of you. Good job. Yeah, this field is really good. You what? This field is no joke. All, right. All those guys are so tough. Track looks like it got super sketchy, so I'm just proud of you for riding with your head and not pushing over that. You don't need to. their own picture and we all have a different path but what's crazy with the sport is like we've had such a different path but we all end up on the same gate every weekend yeah and that's, that's so true dude it, it, it's that's what i love about the sport it and you can everyone has their different opinion about it but you know what it's how much you want to have it how, it's how much you want it and that's what it comes down to at that Motto? No regrets. Yeah. Not even one letter. Not even one letter. That's good. It sucked that you know you got crashed on the first lap, but you put not work after that. Your head was going forward instead of any extra level behind you. 
Well, take today as a positive. I well, tried my thing. Welcome back, baby. Yeah, welcome back. This is Moto. You never gave up. So if you could tell yourself, like seven-year-old you watching out there, like elbow him and say, "Hey, that'll be you." Like you have a long career. Like did you ever? Is that ever even like imagine? Like did you? Could you have seen it going any better than this? I guess. Yeah, I could have won more races in a championship, <laughs> obviously. But I made money riding a dirt bike for a long time. You know, did I make millions and millions? No, but I. I did okay for myself, and not only that, but to have respect from everybody in the paddock, and every, you know, I respect everybody. Like, um, like I said, it's been a lot of really good races, a lot of really good results. Um, you no, know, if I was a seven-year-old kid, someone told me that I would have said they're a liar. So, I'm glad I made it. Though. A lot of people did it. So.